Hello everybody, it's Super Dragon here, and welcome to Uncharted Drake's Fortune. So, I only played a little bit of Uncharted 3 when I originally got my first PS3, or my PS3. Uh, this is the uh, remastered edition, you know, from, uh, I forget what it's called, Uncharted Drake's Chronicles or whatever. I forget. But yeah, it's, uh, we're playing Uncharted 1. Continuous speed run. The fuck is that? Uh, explore using normal. We're gonna go normal. Wish they had some description, but... There we go. Had to save. This is actually my first time playing Uncharted 1. I never even finished Uncharted 3, so... And then eventually I'm gonna play Uncharted 4 in the, uh, the mini-game. There must be a beginning to any great matter, but continuing unto the end, until it's thoroughly finished, yields true glory. Sir Francis, yeah, Sir Francis Drake, 1587. I have seen some stuff from, uh, for Uncharted 1. I'm here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of oh, you know what? Speed run might be Sir without cutscenes. Who was buried at sea over 400 years ago? Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. <clears throat> For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What dun dun dun! <laughs> what a twist! I want to try and get one more walkthrough done before uh, school starts. Because, uh, not to mention that also there's going to be Damn. Destiny 2 to work with. Come on, hold it up. That's gonna be fun. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, hey. you wouldn't have. You got your story, lady. <laughs> Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. I have a right to see no, every single thing that. You... Oh, Drake. Sully? I was in so much uh, trouble. We got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates. Drake is yeah. just lucky, man. That's his number one. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Somalian pirates, we, we and with a yo ho ho and a tricky lady do, we shoot them in the face with glee. What? Oh, Drake. Oh, it's the Nathan Drake jail. collection. Uh, yeah, well, she is a journalist. Yeah, uh, just... She has so covered right? wars, you know, or at least I assume that since Frank West, you know, we splatters that catchphrase now like it's every journalist has ever, every weatherman we shit, no true Scotsman. Hello! And goodbye to anyone that messes with John Cena. These guys don't like you much, do they? Less talking, more shooting. How do I reload? Hurry up, Sully. Uh-oh. <laughs> he just got Superman punched. It's beautiful. They still haven't taught me how to reload yet. I'm assuming I can't kill them, so... Okay, R1 is re reload. Where is he?
I didn't see what it said. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> just like shooting inches away from each other and they just... Eh. What is she shooting at? Oh. <laughs> just got socked. Alright, come on. Ow! What did you do, Sully? Both ships gonna blow. We gotta jump. Oh shit. Oh wait. What are you doing? Your camera? Okay. Come on. The camera's no, gonna get ruined by water anyways, you idiot. Oh my god. Oh lord. Sully, you idiot. You almost got me killed. I almost I died. Under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> until he you blew right? up the boat. Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. <laughs> You're funny. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> uh, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> what do you say we get out of here? Before we attract any more attention. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Well, a little present from Sir Francis. Ho oh, oh, ho, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Uh, Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. Eh, for a pretty face, lots of bass, and I can talk about dubstep, sure. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage summit. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. It always is, isn't it? I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only, we got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. <sighs> it sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? We don't. Oh. <laughs> oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera. No. Still as good as new. Just so a little water along. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. More or less. I love you, Nate. Two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't. I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be like the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. 
No, I don't trust nah. you, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just oh, I thought we were going to drive off. And I promise oh, no. Bah. Bitch. Hey! Toot toot oo. Pickle Frick! You really should have. To be fair, you really should have. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, yeah, you should. Oh. El Dorado. Hold on. Hold on. El Dorado. I'm not as young as I used to. Fucking love that song. That movie was great. Uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? Ha, well, that was different. Although I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> Well, hang in there, old timer. We're just How come he can run and I can't? You know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> uh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was... Nate, are you even listening to me? Nope. Hanging on every word. I missed something over here. So a wise man once said, "The same re I think the same reason that people, that guys play Laura Croft to watch her tits bounce, is the same reason that women play Uncharted to see his abs in the water. He is a wise, wise man. And I live by his teachings. Although if you watch him, you probably don't watch me. You really think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're Anything's possible. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. No shit. Dead end. Easy, Sully. Relax. Let's take a look around. Such a lucky bastard. I love you, Nate. Looks like we were just a tad off. What do you think this is, Incan? Nah, it's older than that. Like two thousand years older. Huh. Hmm. Oh, um. You know, I remembered I was actually going to do Rise of Tomb Raider a while ago. And I just never ended up doing it. I do have to play that eventually. Maybe before I get to Uncharted 4. No, I'm kidding. I will get to Rise of Tomb Raider eventually. Um, truth is, I haven't even finished it yet. If I, I swear to God, if I get one person that says... Oh, you care more about char male characters in video games and female character-based video games. You, first of all, you're breaking your own misogyny rule that, you know, men are complete pigs and want to watch a woman's tits bounce. Ignore what I said earlier about Laura Croft. That was a joke. Nah, I'm good. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. It was, I, um... <clears throat> if you're gonna say that, then I might want to add that I played one of the Uncharted games and haven't even finished it, compared to Uncharted 2. I mean, compared to Laura Croft, where I've completed one of the games and almost completed the second one. I assume almost. Okay, so what am I doing? 